Hi, today I am making a sirloin cap and I don't know if it's a steak or a roast. It's something in between. Also called picanha in some places. Um, I buy these from Costco and uh, I think you're really going to like it. It's one of my favorite cuts of meat. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out some of my other videos and consider hitting that subscribe button. Welcome back to all the regular viewers. Hope you'll like today's video. All right, so this is going to be dinner tonight. It's a cut of beef that I've been getting from Costco. Um, they always look like this. They're sort of a triangular shape. I don't know. I'm not a butcher. I've had no culinary school, anything like that. So um, I say a lot of things that might be wrong or incorrect. Um, I, I don't really know if this is a steak or a roast. I do know it's delicious. It, at, when you buy it at Costco, they come two or three to a bag. So I've got this one. This one uh, is a smallish one, um, and I just want to weigh it real, real quick. Uh, it's about two pounds. So this is about two pounds. It's about uh, three inches thick. So the way I've been cooking it is I uh, put a salt and pepper rub on it, and I sear it for a few minutes in the cast iron pan and then I bake it for 15 minutes or so. There's my oven. I have it set to 350. Wait for the music. Um, normally, it I get a fat cap that's a little bit thicker. This is quite thin. Uh, so I'm gonna be really careful with scoring it. I, I do like to score it just a little bit. So I am going to just do it over here. Over here, it's pretty close to the skin already. This, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but the price of these, I mean, I like this even better than a ribeye. And uh, it's less than half the price of a ribeye at, at Costco. I'm using uh, kosher salt and white pepper because uh, I have a sensitivity to black pepper. You can use whatever type of a rub you would normally use on a piece of meat like this. And I'm just going to kind of rub it all, all over. This is half a tablespoon. Probably seems a bit excessive, but a lot of it comes off, so, okay. All right, I am going to take this over to the stove and we are going to sear it before we put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm putting my fire on to uh, medium high. Get that pan warmed up. I'm gonna use a tablespoon, well, actually this is half a tablespoon of bacon grease. This is just bacon grease that I save when I'm cooking bacon. Just let that get all melty and hot. I'm going to be cooking it fat side down and we are going to let it sit for five minutes. Okay, I'm going to put it in. This is uh, going fat side down. And I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Uh, it really helps to, it helps your kitchen and stove area to use a splatter screen. You can just lay it on top and uh, yeah, it'll help keep things not as greasy everywhere. So, I'll see you in five minutes. All right, this has been going for five minutes. Oh, look at that. Look how brown that is, that is lovely. So then I usually just kind of do each of the sides, give it a little sear. No. All 
All right, now it's going in the oven. And I've never cooked one this small before, so I'm going to test the temperature in, at the 10 minute mark. Normally on the bigger ones, I do it for 15 or 20 minutes in the oven. So it's going in for 10. I have a thermometer to check the temperature and uh, we'll see where we're at. I'm, I'm really wanting medium rare or, or rare, I'm okay. Um, this is where also it's really handy to have the double handed handle cast iron pan. Um, that's like if you're, if you ever buy a cast iron pan, if you don't have one, it's uh, probably only, you know, I, that, that would be the thing I would recommend. Okay, so here we go. Not, so it was nine minutes, 14 minutes in total. All right, so that cooked a total of 14 minutes. I'm going to move it over to out of the pan onto this board and I'm going to cover it with foil and let it rest. The pan is very hot, so be careful. This should rest quite a quite a while like I'm always really impatient. It should rest 10 or 15 minutes. We will be lucky if I get there. I'm gonna set the timer and uh, we'll see you back in 10 minutes. I swear, 10 minutes. All right, it's been an agonizingly long 10 minutes, but I am going to cut this thing. And, uh, oh, but before I cut it, I wanted to talk about where to cut it. I mean, I think, uh, I think you can probably see that the grain kind of runs this way. So you want to cut it, try it like just from the corner of this triangle that way. So let's see how we do here. All right. It smells amazing. Oh, Teddy's lining up already. Wow, look at that. just the way I like it. All right, so I've got a few pieces cut here. Let's give it a try. Right, Teddy? We're gonna give it a try. Teddy volunteers too. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm sorry, Teddy. It is perfect. Just gonna give a little piece to Ted. There you go. Go sit. Oh, such a good doggy. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? That's the best, right? I mean, this is, uh, I can't quite remember what the cost of ribeye is at Costco these days, but this is, I think it was about $8.99 a pound. Um, and ribeye is way, way, way more than that. I think, I think we're talking around 20 a pound for ribeye these days. Um, now this is a Canadian Costco. So the this is at the Canadian Costco. It does not say picanha on it at all. It's, uh, you just have to wait. I'm still talking now. It says uh, sirloin cap and in brackets, it says collot. So um, sit. 
So those are the three names that you can look for. Sirloin cap, calot, picanha. And you should get something like this. Watch for the triangular shape. And if it doesn't have a fat cap on it, just keep going, <laughs> buy something else. Because um, this, this is really the best way to have this. Let me, let me cut it where we didn't even get to that part. Let me just uh, cut a couple more pieces. There, you can see it. it. It's not as big as some of the ones that I've had there. Um, they may have trimmed this one a bit. So, but it still has one and it's still going to be delicious. So, yeah. I hope that you are able to find one of these at your local Costco. Sorry, Teddy. Or at a butcher shop. Anyway, so I am just dying to eat this. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, have my dinner now and we'll see you on the next video. what's called a sirloin cap. Not sure if it's a roast or a steak. It's somewhere in between. Also called picanha, and I buy them at Costco. So, I, I don't know. You wanna do it again?